what is up you guys welcome back to the channel i just wanted to go over these um these um, differences between business manager and ads manager those are the two main portals the two main pages that you'll have to get familiar with as you go into more facebook advertising and if you're running ads for other clients or other businesses then for sure you guys already know the, the differences but a lot of you guys that are beginners this is beginner stuff and this is important stuff and this is really all all there is to it it's pretty simple once you really um uh, dive into it but when you come to Facebook everyone everyone kind of knows how to run an ad right they come to Facebook and then they'll either click on create and they'll click on ad or you can come over here to your drop down and you can click on manage ads and you can get to the ads manager that takes you over here where you can actually run the ad what I would do if I were you is I would bookmark this page this is your ads manager. This is where the green button's at. Where, where, wherever you see this green button, make sure you bookmark this page. And Facebook's always changing the format and the layout of it all, so you should still be able to see this, this green button, though. This is where the magic happens. You want to bookmark this page for sure. This is your ads manager. This is where you'll be running your ads from. But the business manager is if you want is if you have multiple businesses, let's say for example, you have multiple projects that you actually run yourself, your business, your actual you know, income. Like I have a few, like these are all incomes, that, these are all businesses that I just set up right now. Like these are all new accounts. I needed one for my clients, I needed one for my Inspired Digital, which is a completely different product. FB Ads for Beginners, a completely different product. Digital Agency Blueprint, the social real estate agent. These are all different products within my business, right? Within my company under inspired digital. So I needed business manager so I can set up multiple ad accounts where I can run ads out of these different accounts and be billed for those projects, for those ads, right? Like for example, digital agency blueprint. That's a, that's a completely different product. I don't want to be running ads out of this account from that. Are, I don't want to be running ads from TSREA clients in the digital agency blueprint account, right? Like, so you wouldn't do that. Like ads that you're, that you're running from inspired digital, you don't want to be running those types of ads in this ad account because it just, it, it, it would get confusing. And when you separate everything, it just, it allows you to, 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 to be more accountable. It allows you to be able to look at the numbers and know exactly what's being spent per product or per project or on different, on different, on different, yeah, different things that you got going on. So this right here, these different ad accounts, you can only have, you before you used to have unlimited, Facebook would give you like damn near as many as you wanted, but I think now it's only five. You can only have five ad accounts um, under your actual name, okay? So some of the, one ad account I'll use to run simple ads for clients, but now as I go into the new year, I'm going to be doing way more Facebook advertising for clients. So I won't even be running it out of my ad account. I'll be running it out of their ad account. But I still have this one set up. And then I just set up these other four because these are going to be for projects that I roll out in 2020. Um, and so again, Inspired Digital, a completely different product. And I don't want to be running ads out of that account in the digital agency blueprint account because they're completely different products. So this is one huge reason why you would, you would want to set up your business manager so you can have multiple accounts. If you have multiple products, if you just have one product and you're just doing your, your one business and that's it, then, then you wouldn't necessarily need business manager. You'll just need the ads manager. And again, the way you get to the ads manager is come over here and click on create and click on add. And that's going to bring you to the ads manager. 100% of you guys have this part set up by default. It's already there. Um, this is one account, right? You guys have one ad account and you're running everything out of that one ad account. And here is the ad account up here. So you have that one ad account. Now, the business manager, it's only for those that have multiple businesses, multiple products, and you need multiple accounts, okay? That's number one. And then number two reason why you would need business manager is if you're actually running ads for clients. So if you're running ads for clients, 
then you'll need to access their business page and that's done through the business manager. Through the business manager, you go into the settings. I have videos on how to request access to business pages. In fact, I cut a video a few days ago, so go back and look at that one. Um, actually, you know what? I'll tie it to the end of this one. So, so stay to the end of this one and I'm gonna tie it to the end of this one. Um, you'll see that pop up at the bottom here at the end of this video. That's how you request access to someone's business page. So if you're that individual, if you're that freelancer, if you're that, that, that marketing agency and you're going to be running ads for other businesses, you'll need business manager to request access to their business page. Okay. So stay to the end of this video and you'll see it pop up. Um, you can watch that one if you do not know how to request access to other people's business page. So, that's the second reason why you'd need business manager. The third reason why you would need business manager is if let's say, for example, these are all your products, right? Let's say you just start blowing up and you're crushing it and you start making a ton of money and you start hiring people to delegate this stuff to. You can start assigning roles and start attaching their name to these accounts. So they can maybe log in, update it, run an ad, manage your Facebook business page. This is as you start to grow and as you start to get bigger, you start to bring people onto your team. Those are people that you can give access to, to these different ad accounts or give access to the entire system or give access to your Facebook business page. Then you'll need business manager so you can start assigning roles to different people. So Business manager is super, super important. And again, a lot of you guys that are solo, solo, solopreneurs and you're just individual and, and, and it's just you, right? You're your own boss. It's just you. You most likely have different projects that you want to roll out, right? You probably have different ideas of different things that you want to start rolling out. Set up your business manager. Set up your business manager. That way you can have different ad accounts and you can start testing out of different accounts those different products, okay? So, this is the business manager, you guys. The ads manager is simply to run ads out of. This is where once the business manager is all set up and, 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 and it's all said and done, I'm going to still have to come over here to run my ads. So the ads manager, bookmark this page. The business manager, bookmark this page. Um, and what I do on the business manager is I actually bookmark the business settings. So once I set up the business manager, then I'll go over to the business settings. And this is, this is a page that I actually bookmark. So it's this one. It's this one up here. So I'll, I'll bookmark this page for sure. And then, um, and then, and then I can manage all these different accounts, all these different pages. I can request access to all these different pages. I can, I can set up all the settings all right here. This is all business manager, business settings. So you for sure want to do that. And when you Google to set up your business manager, come over to Google and just Google it, Facebook business manager. And then as you're over here, you can read about what it, what it is, the business page overview, like about Facebook business manager. So let's read about what, what it says here on, on the Facebook page of, about Facebook business manager. Business manager helps advertisers integrate Facebook marketing efforts across their business and with external partners. So that's what I was talking about. You can use this free platform to run and track your ads, manage assets such as your pages and ad accounts. Add an agency or marketing partner to help manage your business. Keep your work and personal life separate. Your business manager is a central space to manage your business. Separate from your personal Facebook profile. You don't have to worry about mixing your business and your personal content. Anyone can use business manager. So create business manager if your business has a marketing team, you manage assets, which is you manage multiple Facebook or Instagram assets, assets such as a Facebook, such as Facebook pages, ad accounts, or apps. So if you're an agency, if you're a freelancer and you're accessing other people's business pages, that's what this is referring to. You use it as a vendor. You work with vendors to help create, run, or manage your pages or ads, but want your business to maintain ownership of all your assets. You need control over your over access and permissions. You want complete jurisdiction over your assets without giving ownership to people who assist your business operations. You want your business to grow. You want to keep your business secure. Business Manager is gradually introducing new safeguard tools through the new security center to help you maintain control over your assets. So that is the most, mo the more technical, you know, definition of, of Facebook Business Manager, but hopefully you guys understand it um, by now. And a lot of you guys that are just starting out, you know, 
ads manager is kind of where you'll spend your time and all you'll need. But as you grow, as you take on clients, if that's your thing, um, then your business manager is what you'll want to set up as well. So Google uh, Facebook business manager, and it'll take you to how to set it up. You guys super, super simple. In fact, you know what, let's just, um, mine's already set up, so it's not taking me through it, but here's a setup. Create business manager right here. So it'll tell you right here how to set it up. Bam, right here. Go to business.facebook.com, create an account, enter your name, enter a name for your business, your name and work email address, and click next. Enter your business details and click submit. That's it. And so my business is Inspired Digital, and that's why um, everything is separate from, from my personal name. It's, oh, it's its own asset. It's its own entity, and it sits right there on Facebook. All right, so if you guys are new to this stuff, man, I provided a bunch of free content, a bunch of free training. The, the, the link is in the description. It's, all, it's also the first one pinned at the top, fbadsforbeginners.com. I email you a bunch of strategies, a bunch of tips, a bunch of my secrets on how I'm building my business, on how I'm running my ads, how I'm running ads for myself, how I'm running ads for clients. Make sure you're on that VIP list, right? So fbadsforbeginners.com, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.